Hey everybody, Doug here from Armadillo Creek. Today I'm going to show you how we process quail. Quail is a great meat to eat and you can process them super, super fast. And all we're going to need to do it is going to be an empty bucket, a bowl of ice water to cool down the meat, and then a nice pair of scissors. I like to use these spring-loaded fishing scissors because they have a fine serrated edge here, right here to kind of help dispatch them. So let's go on down to the sink and I'll show you how it's done. Basically, we're going to be uh, using the scissors to give them a little bit of a quick snip to the head to decapitate them. When you're doing so, you want to make sure you're going on the far back of their neck here to make sure that you're getting all of the brain and the brain stem as well. You want to make their, uh, their end as quickly and safely as possible. I usually like to hold them for just a couple of seconds. I want to make sure that they're nice and calm in my hands. I don't want them to be in a panic before, uh, before their end. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it and make this quick. Then we're just going to hold them. And don't worry, the, the bird was instantly dead right when, I, uh, uh, right when we decapitated them. All this here that you're seeing is just the nervous system and it's in the residual signals. Okay, so now it's completely still. And we're going to go ahead and start with the legs. And with the scissors right here above their knee joint. We're going to take a snip. We'll see just right here, right above their second little knee joint there. We're going to give it a clip. Okay. Then we're going to take their wing all the way outstretched and we're going to go all the way up to their shoulder. On a chicken, you usually cut back because there's a little bit of meat right here onto the, on the wings. But on a quail, there's no meat there, really anything that you can eat. So get all the way up against the shoulder, uh, shoulder joint and give it a clip. Just like that. And then we'll go the second wing here, all the way up against the body there. Give it a clip. And there you go, off the wing. Now their skin is very, very thin. And if you turn them breast side up, you can actually just find a spot here on their chest. Give a little pinch. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, just a little air inside of them. Give it a little pinch and a tear, and their skin will come right open. And then from there, you just need to give it a peel off and everything, skin and all, will just peel off in one piece here. Don't worry if you have some of that skin sticking onto their backside a little bit. Some of those feathers are a little different and they'll just be a little stuck on. We'll peel those off in a second. So there we go. That is skin and feathers and we just have a little bit of this back stuff here. Give it a peel. Okay, so here we have the carcass. What we'll do next is with our pair of scissors, we're going to insert in here right next to the neck and we're going to go all the way back to the end and give it one big cut just like this. Okay, if you slip out, try to go back into the cavity there and get all the way to the back and through the pelvis just like that and then right up the other side there we go okay so now we can take neck spine and everything kind of give it a pull off there and we've opened up all their back and then just with your thumb you kind of insert into this cavity here and give it a scrape down and you'll start pulling out all the guts I'm not the best at this, I'm still kind of learning, but I usually try to get it all in one big scoop. I think it's just a little bit awkward here on camera, so on my next one I'll show you. I'm just going to go through it without talking just to show you how much easier it'll go. But once all you get all the guts out, just uh, grab it there at the bottom from where it's hanging by that last little piece of skin, and give it a clip. And here you have a basic carcass. Um, We'll just spray it off with a little bit of water here. You got two little drums and the little breastbone. And it's okay if there's a little bit of feathers on it at the moment. Um, just main thing is, is make sure all the little pieces of skin and guts are out. And then you can just basically drop it here into the cold water and we'll let it get... Okay, so leg... 
leg. Wing. Wing. Skin. <laughs> Sometimes they make a little noise, but don't worry, it's just a little bit of air in their lungs that uh, kind of shoots across their vocal cords there. Okay, so we're just going to go... bit on there. Let's just give that a quick cut. Okay. Whoops. Uh, oh, gross, gross, gross. That's okay, though. If you drop it in your bucket, give it a good rinse with water. We're going to be putting these in the freezer right away, so any sort of contamination uh, will be killed off in the freezer. It's okay. And in the water. Let's get to work. So, knee. Knee. Wing. Got some nervous system still kind of going there. He is dead though, but I'm just going to kind of take off the rest of that neck there. It doesn't look too big. Another wing. Tear the skin. Get in, pull it down and out. Oh, there's his heart. Okay. Then we'll just do a final check. Now a little bit of a long left there. Okay. So, this is basically, there it is right there. Give it a little rest. the water so I'd like to uh, thank you all for watching um, I hope you found what I did here educational I've got a few more birds that I need to get done so I'm gonna go ahead and finish them up and until then we'll see you around thanks for watching